Hello all. Um, so this is for goal zero, but for anyone else who wants to learn solar, I ended up purchasing a 100 watt uh, boulder and a 50 watt boulder. Um, and they both hook in. So it's pretty cool. The 50 watt has ch is chainable with other 50 watts or 100 watts. So I took the input of this one Chain, chained it to 50 watt and then I have it leading over into my house and that goes into a battery I'll show you where the battery is it's in the basement but um, I'm actually kind of amazed but I also don't enjoy it a lot because of the efficiency that's lost Goal Zero says that with the 30, with the, this 30 length cable, 30 foot length cable, you lose about 60, uh, you lose about 10%. Um, they say about 10 watts. And then um, usually the efficiency is only about 67% there. So 150 watts minus 10 watts, and then multiply that by 60, 0.67 and you get about 90 watts so that's how much I get on a clear sunny day um, it's not amazing but it's not horrible either all right so as you can see here I'm pulling 30 34 36 40 it's going up now this is while it's in the evening so 50 watts that's, that's not horrible but during the afternoon in a really sunny time I get about 90 watts an hour so between 1 to 4 o'clock I'd say I get about that much um, does come in through this line so and it's connected to their PWM I may want to try their MPPT which supposedly you get about 10 maybe 15 more watts if it's ideal I'm also using this crummy 16 gauge that they provide. You may want to change it to the 12 gauge, which is thicker and stronger. Um, but that's about it. I've been powering my power tools with it, and then occasionally powering my cable modem. So, pretty cool. Um, also been powering my electric, electric lawnmower. So, I'm getting closer to being solar powered. Fun, fun, fun. All right, so there's one last thing I forgot to mention. You know, I was powering my lawnmower, my drill, um, weed whacker, and occasionally I use this battery to charge up my phone and everything. So I do that, but then basically, Goal Zero, Goal Zero offers a a manual transfer switch that you can hook up to your breaker box, and you can. Uh, back up up to four um, circuit breakers. So I did that for the two bedrooms, a sump pump, and the refrigerator. So if the power ever goes out, I can flip on, flip on, flip these on, and um, still have power. Now I calculated it. It's it would I would have about four to six hours worth of power. Um, six hours if it's during the daytime and it's sunny because. I would get power back to the battery. Four hours if it's nighttime and everything goes kaput. Um, so it's pretty cool. Um, definitely worth it if you want something to back up. However, people, well, critics will tell you it's cheaper just to get a gas generator, which is true, but how often do you use it? I don't know. Um, plus it requires gas and you gotta change the oil on it occasionally. You gotta make sure it starts up every year. Um, this thing is static, so you literally just have to keep it charged to 100% most of the time. And occasionally you, you may want to run it down to like 80%, but, and then recharge it back to full, but that's it. It's... This is actually pretty handy and cool. I I enjoy using it. Um, 
So that's about it.